Welcome you all to the another video of software testing by MKT. As a part of this video, we are going to talk about multi-level inheritance in Java. Before I proceed to this video, make sure that you have seen my inheritance video and also single level inheritance video. Don't jump into this video until you have seen my inheritance video and single level inheritance. Now let's go ahead to talk about what do you mean by multi-level inheritance. As the name suggests, it is a multi-level. In the similarly, multi-level inheritance means inheriting the properties from the superclass. And again, superclass inheriting the properties from its superclass is called as multi-level inheritance. Inheriting the properties from its superclass, which in turn inheriting the property from its superclass is called as multi-level inheritance so here you will be have classes so multi-level inheritance looks like this in which your subclass inherit the properties from its super class and now so super class inherits the property from its parent class from its super class is called as multi-level inheritance example this is grandson which is trying to inherit the properties from its father and now father is trying to inherit the properties from his father is called as multi-level inheritance he is a grandson he is the father he is the grandfather just to make you guys understand i'm just telling this don't tell in interview you just you need to tell like subclass inheriting the properties from its super class and super class inherit the properties from its superclass is called as multi-level inheritance suppose and when you are trying to inherit the property you need to write it using the keyword called as extends here and even here so here class name i will give as class 10 and here class i'm trying to give as class 9 here i'm trying to give class name as class 8 and let's say he is having a non-static method called as school. He is having a non-static method of play. And he is having a non-static method of play school. So this is how your multi-level inheritance class looks like. This is one of the class whose class name is 10. And he is having a method called as non-static method school. It is trying to inherit the properties from his parent class. Class name is 9. And it is having a method name is as void play. It is a non-static method. The reason I'm taking non-static method because static methods cannot be inherited. I have already said this in single level inheritance video. If you remember this, well and good. And now I have my supermost class, which the class name is 8. It is having the non-static method of play school method. Now to access each method, what I need to do is I need to create an object for this 10 class with its reference variable I will call this particular method and using the same reference variable I can even call this particular method play and with the same reference variable I can even call my play school method I need not create an object for my class 9 and class 8 I need to create an object only for class 10 and since my 10 class is inheriting the properties of both the classes with the same 10 class that object that I'm creating using the same reference variable with the same object creation I can call this all three methods this is why inheritance is important in Java and also in the IT industries because you will write plenty of classes you will write plenty of classes like this you will write multiple classes you will write multiple classes today and even after five years but what about the classes which i have already created in the company from last 20 years or last 10 years so when you're trying to create a new class what you can do is you can make use of the classes which are already created by some of the other developers over the past 10 years to avoid the recoding reusability of code we follow inheritance so in that what we do is we use the code which has already been written if i inherit the properties of other classes i can easily call all the methods 
and all the variables which are already been defined in those classes since i'm inheriting the properties of those classes in my newly class that i'm creating i can do this i can consume that i can consume all those methods and local variables and all the variables because i'm inheriting with the keyword called as extend and extends create an is a relationship between the classes so that's why now let's go ahead and run and compile the code to fully understand this topic easily so guys this is a program i've written for you guys to make you understand about multi-level inheritance so as i spoke in the video previously multi-level inheritance in that your subclass that is this is a subclass which is trying to inherit the properties which will inherit the properties from its parent class your parent class which in turns inherit the properties from its parent class is called as multi-level inheritance if you see my if you see my child class here this class 12 it is trying to inherit extends i have written it is trying to extends it is trying to create an easy relationship with 10 class what is the 10 class 10 class is its parent class and if you see my 10 class it is trying to create a easy relationship because it is trying to it is inheriting the properties of class 9 which is its parent class so th this program which i'm showing you guys comes under multi-level inheritance topic in java so as i've said in the previous part of the video each class is having some non-static method in it so for that what you need to do is you just need to create an object for your class 12 which is your which is your child class so i have created an, an object for 12 class and with the reference variable i am calling all the methods i have that is i am even calling my child class method i am even calling its parent method and i am even calling its parents parent method all the method i am able to call it with same with the same reference variable that is t1 why because the reason i'm creating the creating an object for my child class because my child class only is having all the properties of its parent and its grandparents all the properties it is only having property is nothing but it can consume your child class can only consume all the methods present in the parent class and your grandparent class so i will create an object in my child class and with the same reference variable i can call all the methods i have so i hope this program is understandable by you guys so what i will do is i will run this program to make you guys understand completely so i have saved my file in the location desktop and then uh, in the in the folder name is java so i will compile the file using java c and then file name once compilation is done, I will do interpretation that is Java and then 12 because 12 is my class name. If you see here, if I interpret it, I got the output. So you know that output will start from the main method. So the first thing I'm trying to do is I'm printing main method. And after that, I am calling the play method. In play method, I'm trying to print non-static method. So I got the output non-static method. After that, I'm trying to call school method. In that, I'm trying to print going to school. So I got the output going to school. And after that, I'm trying to call college method. So it will recall this method and whatever action it is performing inside that method will get executed. So the thing I'm trying to execute in the college method is going to college next week. So I got the output as going to college next week. So I hope this video was useful to you guys. If yes, please give a big thumbs up to this video. Subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MKT and please share this video with your needy friends. In case you have any doubt, list out all your doubts in the comment section. Want to reach to me out? I have added my Quora account, Gmail account, Twitter account in the link description. Please check it out. Have any suggestion? Put out in the comment section. I will be listening to you guys. Thank you.